tale of two halves out here tonight. Um, not the result you wanted to see. Can you walk us through the positives and negatives that you saw in the second half tonight? Yeah, I just don't think we played a overall good game, to be honest. Um, we made a lot of mistakes, and I think in transitions, we didn't control the transitions well. And our positioning when we had the ball high was, was poor. And so we need to fix those mistakes. Um, but overall, and we also just, especially in the second half, we were like frantic in the attacking box rather than calm. We had a lot of numbers in there. Obviously, it'd be nice to get one of those penalties to be sure, but um, we just weren't, weren't at our standard tonight for sure. Seemed like the first 15 minutes was very high pressing. What changed after those 15 minutes that everything kind of just shifted towards you guys? Well, yeah, I mean, I think we had a really good start, putting them under a lot of pressure. Um, and as time wore on, I think, again, we just, we missed a lot of transition moments and counter pressing. And so when that happens and you get pinned back, um, but the main thing is we just didn't care for the ball well. And when you, in moments when we're not expecting to lose the ball, we lose the ball and it creates a lot of transitions. Um, then, then you can get hurt. And they're also, look, I also think they played really well. They're a tough team. They're in really good form right now. Um, and when you have a team on the ropes, you have to really punish them. But I just think, you know, I was actually happy with how in moments in the first half when we weren't playing well, we fought through those moments together as a team. But in the second half, I just thought we were too frantic and we could have had a lot more control of the game and we lost control and we, we lost the rhythm we want the game to be played at. So a pretty quick turnaround to Loudon. Uh, is this something that we can fix in a couple days or is this kind of a longer term, like, hey, we need to take some time to figure this out? Well, listen, I mean, we've been on a great run here, so it's not like we, you know, a few details, a few performances from players, um, all of that can make you from winning the game to not winning the game. So it's just details we have to fix and then also making sure that everyone's performing at a high standard, you know, with the ball and then in defensive transition. So. Um, yeah, I mean, like always, we'll analyze the game, figure out exactly what went wrong. I mean, I already know the things we need to fix. And we have a, a short turnaround, and we're going to rely on our squad and make sure that we have enough fresh legs out there to, um, to, to put the hurt on, on Loudon. The number nine guy, so the first goal is very beautiful. But the second half, he's getting, getting tired. I think he lost the speed, I felt. How did you feel about that? Who are you talking about? What player? Uh, number nine. Evan Conway. Yeah. Well, we had to switch his position to wing back because Adrian Perez came out with an injury at halftime. So it was a totally different position. So he played there last year for us. Evan did play, scored nine goals from that position. Mm -hmm. So he knows to do that. We just brought in Ronaldo. So no, he, that guy is probably the fittest player on our team. He's fine. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, what difficulties did Thomas Among uh, give the team, give the defense? When Thomas wants to be, Thomas is a great player. When Thomas wants to be, he's a top player. Obviously, he's really motivated today. I think he had two goals this season, and he has two goals tonight. Good for him. I'm happy. I, look, sucks this against us. I love Thomas. He's a great person, um, and, you know, football happens, life happens, but um, he's a... <laughs> if he wants to be, Thomas can be a top player. It's just about him putting together performances like that when he's motivated, um, and he was motivated. Uh, not the result you wanted tonight. Um, at halftime, you ended up switching positions. How did you feel switching positions, and well, you know what, what went wrong in that second half? Yeah, well, mind? I uh, I played a lot of wing back last year, and and Ronaldo's been playing well, so uh, we we shipped him in and. I get to play a little more defensive, but still add an attacking piece, and you know, didn't work out. But we have a quick turnaround, so not not too much to worry about. Obviously, the team's been on a really good run. If you get a loss like this, does that impact anything? Well, like I said, the the, the quick turnaround is helpful. You know, right away we will come into training and put on the back burner, talk about it, and be done with it, and we move on to the next one. Yeah, you appeared in the kit release video. Uh, what does it mean to play in a team that stands up for social justice issues in the community? Yeah, no, it's awesome. My, my uh, little chat in the video said something about how I wasn't here when, when the whole debacle went down, but how our locker room keeps that mindset. And every day we come out and this jersey is just, you know, it, just awesome. And it felt great. And I feel like the fans were, were loving it. Everyone was asking for the jersey, but <laughs> we couldn't get it tonight. You scored your ninth goal of the season wearing number nine. How's that feel for you? <laughs> no, it feels good. It feels good. Um, last year I had nine, and this year, you know, I'm playing a little bit of a different role. So, so it's important just every week trying to get 
another tally on the on the score sheet, but at the end of the day, it's about winning the game, and we couldn't get that done tonight. So you were able to get um, you kind of went behind your back, right foot to your left foot. How is that a move that you use very often? Do you know that you're going to be able to set that up? Well, the other teams are going to be watching this. So I know. I know. I well, they're going to see the highlights, <laughs> saying, so yeah. I think the secret's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a pretty sweet move. That's all yeah. I'm saying. You look like you've done that before, right? Yeah. You look pretty well, they just he gets the defender gets a little bit in front of me, and I, I just take the opportunity and cut it back, and I think he's expecting me to shoot, and just a nice, uh, nice finish. Yeah, that's for sure.